with you. Who here thinks that condoms should be distributed in schools? Wow, a lot. Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right, well, just, just, just to start off with a couple of statistics, according to cdc.gov in the U.S., 46% of teenagers have had sex. 34% 34 have had sex within the last three months. 39% of these teens did not use a condom, and 77% of all of those did not use any form of birth control. Overview. I'll be going over sexual activity among teenagers, protection, uh, excuse me, protection from STDs, prevention of pregnancy, and the effectiveness of banning condoms out in schools. According to WebMD.com, four of ten sexually active teens or their partners have taken a pregnancy test while in high school. One of five said they personally had unprotected sex after drinking or using drugs. And seven of ten said their peers don't use condoms during sex after drinking. One of six high schoolers believed that having sex occasionally without a condom was no big deal. And one in three boys between ages 15 and 17 feel pressured to have sex while in high school compared with one in four girls. According to PhD.com, the most common STDs among teens are chlamydia, HPV, genital warts, herpes, gonorrhea, syphilis, and AIDS. And this is just to show every day in America 10,000 teens catch a sexually transmitted disease. Um, an estimated 8,300 young people aged 13 to 24 years in 40 states reporting CDC have had an HIV infection in 2009. Nearly half of the 19 million new STDs each year are among young people aged 15 through 24. Teen pregnancy. More than 400,000 teens aged 15 to 19 years gave birth in the year 2009. And condoms are 85 to 98 percent effective at preventing pregnancy. The effectiveness of handing out condoms in schools. Obviously, there's a decrease in teen pregnancy. And according to teenhealth.com, they did a study in Massachusetts schools that handed out condoms to students, and their teen pregnancy rate dropped from 22 of every 1,000 girls to 11 to every 1,000 girls. Though it doesn't seem like it's a significant change. That's, you know, a lot of girls who get to live out the rest of their teenhood and become an adult. Also, it decreases the STD spread among teens. Uh, according to ashastv.org, numerous studies have shown that condoms, when used correctly, are proving highly effective in preventing the spread of STDs. And by recap, I went over sexual activity among teens, how condoms provide protection from STDs, the prevention of pregnancy among teens, and the effectiveness of handing out condoms in schools. Any questions? Uh, did you like? I'm just curious. When you were doing your uh, your I guess, research, did you find out if more teens don't wear condoms or have pregnancies because they don't have condoms or they just don't wear them? Because they just don't care. They prefer <clears throat> not to. So how would how would giving them out in schools force someone to wear it? How would I what? How would that like make someone wear it? Like if like if the school gives it to me, I still don't want to wear it. Then I'm not going to wear it. Well, I mean, first of all. Everyone knows condoms are expensive, and people just are embarrassed to buy them. If the school hands them out and makes them openly available, I don't know, maybe guys, if you don't want to, or this is, but I feel it could make somebody more responsible and say, hey, okay, I can get these easily. Let's not have a baby. Who wants a baby at this age? That makes sense. And let's not get, you know, put the other. Because she gets a plan B. All right. Just send it. That's what we're saying. I'm just logically speaking. They're gonna do that and I'll do that.